Welcome to our e-learning video on the subject of Comitia Centuriata. Comitia Centuriata was one of the three legislative assemblies in ancient Rome. It was responsible for electing high-ranking officials, enacting laws, and declaring war. The assembly was organized on the basis of the military divisions of the Roman army, known as centuries. Each century was made up of 100 soldiers, and the citizens of Rome were divided into 193 centuries according to their wealth and social status. The assembly was presided over by a magistrate, and voting took place by century, with each century casting one vote. The centuries were arranged in ascending order of wealth, with the wealthiest centuries voting first. This gave the wealthy citizens a disproportionate influence over the assembly's decisions, as they could often secure a majority before the poorer centuries had a chance to vote. The Comitia Centuriata was an important institution in Roman politics, and its decisions had far-reaching consequences. It was responsible for electing consuls, who were the highest-ranking magistrates in Rome, and also for declaring war. The assembly could also pass laws, although this power was gradually diminished over time as the Senate gained more influence. One of the most famous instances of the Comitia Centuriata in action was the election of Julius Caesar as consul, in 59 BCE. Caesar was a popular general and politician, and he used his influence to secure the support of the assembly. He was elected despite opposition from the senatorial class, who saw him as a threat to their power. Another notable event was the passage of the Lex Hortensia in 287 BCE. This law granted the plebeian assembly, which represented the lower classes of Roman society, the power to pass laws that applied to all citizens, regardless of social status. This marked a significant shift in Roman politics, as it gave the plebeians more power and influence in the legislative process. The Comitia Centuriata continued to be an important institution in Roman politics until the end of the Roman Republic, in 27 BCE. After this, the assembly was largely replaced by the Senate and the Emperor, who had the ultimate authority in matters of state. In summary, the Comitia Centuriata was one of the three legislative assemblies in ancient Rome, responsible for electing officials, passing laws, and declaring war. Its voting system favored the wealthy citizens, and its decisions had far-reaching consequences. While it played an important role in Roman politics, its power was gradually diminished over time as the Senate and the Emperor gained more influence. Thank you for watching our e-learning video on the subject of Comitia Centuriata. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more educational content.